Hi y'all, I'm Allison. I've done my two official TBR games and now it's time to share with y'all my great idea for everything else that I'm doing this month. I'm probably biting off more than I can chew and I definitely did not listen to Chantel's advice. We'll see how bad that's gonna bite me in the end. I've got Buzzword, TBR Knockout, Read Your Bookshelf, and a high stakes bingo game. Plus another one that I'm not quite ready to reveal yet. So yeah, just a little bit going on this month. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, let's start off with something easy. Buzzword. The word for the month is secret. And I'm doing A Secret Princess by Margaret Stoll and Melissa De La Cruz. They teamed up and they picked their three favorite characters from A Little Princess and The Secret Garden. Got Mary, Sarah, and Cedric. They are attending a boarding school in 1865, England. And the school is Select Seminary for Young Ladies and Gentlemen. Mary's family is from India. Sarah's is from Manila. And Cedric's we don't know his past yet, but due to a turn of fortune, the three of them are going to band together against the monstrous headmistress. I am really looking forward to this. And it also comes with gifts because it's Once Upon a Book Club YA selection. So that'll be fun. Here's a little peek in the box if you want to see. They will somehow relate to the storyline. So even though this book is on the thicker side, compared to everybody else that I'm keeping them short this month if I can. Being YA, I bet it'll be a quick read. Okay, let's move on to To Be Our Knockout by Completely Melanie. And my Sims game was nice to me and let me borrow this prompt. So I had already chosen The Vanished Bride to go with the women's right prompt. Before they become novelists, the Bronte sisters decide to team up and investigate a murder that happens within like two miles of their home in England. We're in 1845 this time in Yorkshire. So they're gonna go against society's expectations. They're expected to stay at home and be, you know, docile little women. But nope, they're gonna join in on this investigation because they're convinced that with their well-honed imaginations and their ability to read between the lines that they can solve this murder. So I am looking forward to this. Then the other prompt from Melody is a strong female lead. I'm going to go with the War Girls. This one, it's another Once Upon a Book Club box. This is the adults. And I have a feeling this is going to be really hard hitting. It is stenciled on the edges. We have some planes and this has to do with the bombing in England by Germany in 1840. We've got some sisters, Hannah and Stefa. They're from Poland, Jewish. Hannah has already moved out of Poland and she's living in London when the bombings start happening. She goes back home to Poland to try to help her family. Her parents, sister and a brother are driven from their home and relocated in the Warsaw ghetto which becomes a prison for nearly half a million Jews who are struggling to survive amid starvation, disease, and the constant threat of deportation to Treblinka. So Hannah, Stefa, and their friend Yanka, who is on the Aryan side of the border, are going to form a trio called the War Girls. Through overwhelming odds and heartbreak, they're going to fight to rescue their loved ones. Find encouraged through sisterhood to keep hope alive. So, I have a feeling that this one is going to gut me. By the way, I forgot to ask, is anybody else doing a buzzword with me? And what book did you pick for secret? I'm wondering if anybody is doing the same book. So, let's list them down in the comments. Please, anybody else reading A Secret Princess? Or if you found a different word to interpret for secret, maybe secretive, secretly. Okay, let's uh, dive into that mess I mentioned earlier from Read Your Bookshelf. Chantel warned us at the onset of this reading challenge that it might be smart to plan ahead. Did I listen to her? 
nope. I thought, oh, it'll be fun. You know, the more challenging, the better. I should have listened because I'm trying to find it. The January book was something that starts with A or the, a pocket full of rye. Okay. And then you have to pick one with a complimentary color for February. Okay. No problem. By the way, if you were curious for this particular shade of blue, red is its complimentary color. So I went for the traditional complimentary for blue, which is orange and happened to be the complimentary of red is green. That was a happy coincidence. Okay. So everything's good here, right? Complimentary colors. Now I take my February book to find out when my March book will be. I have to go with the next letter in the alphabet for the first word. Yeah. People. I need a book that starts with Q. Yay. I thought, okay, I'll have plenty of them, right? Queen. Queen starts with Q. Keep in mind how many books I'm trying to read. I don't know if I mentioned it to y'all yet or not, but it's going to be 16 to 21 in that range. And I also have other stuff going on. Yeah. So Queen of Camelot. Well, I am looking forward to reading it. It's probably not going to help me achieve my goal this month. Queen Isabella, a nonfiction biography, definitely won't help me fit my goal. Hit my goal. So guess what I found? The Quiche of Death <laughs> by MC Beaton. This is a cozy mystery from the early 90s, I believe, or mid 90s. It's the first in the Agatha Raisin mystery series. And it's actually, I guess, has a TV show. This was the basis for it. So we have Agatha, Agatha Raisin. She decides to give up her successful PR firm and her London flat to retire in a little English village. Problem is retirement doesn't turn out to be all that she wanted because she's bored. So she decides to enter a local baking contest where someone ends up dead because of there's poison. So she's going to investigate it and kind of turn into a little Miss Marple. So cozy mystery should be much easier to get through than the books that I have with queen in the title. Granted, this isn't too daunting. Even if I add the six books that I ended up between my two TBR games, that only puts me at 10 books, which no big deal. I could do that. No problem. But no, uh, I've got a little secret something going on and that's going to require six more books. So that puts us at 16. And I'm also trying to get these filmed and it's completely different from anything I've done. So, and I don't know that I've seen anybody do it this way. Okay. I'm not going to build this up to be too much in case it doesn't turn out like I envisioned. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully it'll come out. I'm thinking by mid March, I should be done with it and ready to put those up, but we will see. So again, that would put me at 16 books, which would be on par with what I've done the past couple of years. But that's not all because remember I mentioned I might have 21 because completely Melanie, it's spring into reading season of fun time. So, and it's a bingo board. I want to play. I miss all of the season of thon challenges last year and I really wanted to get in on them. So I am doing extreme bingo. Here's what I'm going to do. As soon as I get my March page set up, the next set will be for this bingo game. I'm going to put the colored version here and put this black and white one here because I'm going to daub this by accidentally doing these prompts. So what I'm going to do once this is set up is I am going to clip my book closed. So I will not be able to see the bingo board. It'll be hidden. Then when I'm done reading these 16 books, I'm going to go in and pick one bingo square for each book. If it fits, 
I don't know if all 16 of them will actually match a prompt. I'm going to do it backwards and see how much of the board I managed to fill up. If I manage to accidentally get a bingo, I'm going to allow myself two books because that's an accidental bingo. And I'm going to go to Barnes and Noble, pick up two more. If there's time in the end of the month, after I finish my 16, then I'm allowed to pick the prompts to get a, a bingo on purpose. And if I get one, then I can get one book. So accidental two. If it's intentional, I get one. Now, if I close out the month and I don't get a bingo, I'm going to have to spin the wheel of shame next month, which will make an already busy month busier. So, yeah. Oh, and did I mention, I'm also going to be setting up another theme to board for just spin it for April. So yeah, high stakes bingo. If I don't get a bingo, I have to spin the wheel of shame and add a book. If I do accidentally get a bingo, I get two books. I get to go buy two books. And if there's time, I can actively try to get a bingo. And if I get one, then I get one book. Now, if I manage to do a blackout, I'm just going to go crazy with my wish list. All right, y'all. I, I don't know if I'm really going to regret this, but uh, March should be an interesting month. So, yeah. So, did, have, have I lost it? Am I just... I'm just asking for trouble, aren't I? <sighs> like I said, if y'all are doing a buzzword, let me know what book you picked. I, I want to see if any of y'all are reading the same book. Okay. Keep an eye out. I should have a wrap up or my reading journal coming. There will be one soon because I have a lot of videos I hope to put up this month. All right. I'll see y'all in the next one and bye now.